So, obviously, I'm filming from a different room for what we learned in NFL Week 12. Uh, I am home for the holidays, uh, but I still got my priorities to produce a video for you guys. Uh, produce a couple videos here in the next couple hours. Uh, first up is the what we learned in Week 12, obviously. I uh, want to know what we learned before we get into Week 13's picks. So, uh, first up is the Thursday night game, of course, uh, New Orleans. Uh, they had their road game worries. Uh, they did pull out the win, so it's not that big of an issue. But uh, it did look a little bit close there. Um, and you have to wonder how good this team can be on the road. Um, but they have a big game coming up with Seattle this week, and, and we'll see how they do. Uh, for the Falcons, at least they're fighting, um, and that's that's a good sign. Uh, it's obviously uh, good to compete against a division opponent, especially in front of your home crowd. Uh, for the Jets, uh, Geno Smith is, um, well, he's awful. Uh, he has looked good at some point this some points this season, but his last few games have not been at all good, and the Jets are really losing ground in that NFL uh, or in the a AFC playoff race. So uh, they gotta they got to find some sort of answer, whether it's uh, kind of doing the Mark Sanchez thing of kind of limiting him. Uh, Rex Ryan does know how to get it done, get a weak quarterback into good situations. Um, and so I trust Rex Ryan will do that, but Geno Smith has not looked very good. Um, for Baltimore, uh, one thing I think that was lost in that uh, that big win over the Jets is uh, Rice. Ray Rice kind of went back to what he's done all season, and that's uh, not doing very well. Um, and that that's a worry for the uh, Ravens if they want to be in the playoff race at the end of the season. Um, they have to run the ball, and uh, it did not work in the uh, game against the Jets, and, and that's got to be a concern. Uh, for Jacksonville, I've been really impressed with Gus Bradley this year, uh, picking up a couple wins. That that's really impressive for a team uh, that that is just not very talented. Uh, to pick up those wins is is huge, especially over division opponents. Um, so good job, Gus. Uh, for Houston, their coach I have not been impressed with. Uh, Gary Kubiak. Uh, I think you got to be on the hot seat at this point. Um, losing to Jacksonville, coming off a playoff year. Uh, going, being the, you're the worst team in the NFL right now. Um, and you were a playoff team a year ago. I know you've been hit some with injuries, but this, this is really inexcusable. It's nothing like Atlanta, who's been devastated by injuries. Um, it's really a shocker to see them this bad, but I think you have to blame it on the coach, and I think Kubiak needs to go. Uh, for the Steelers, uh, people are saying, is this a playoff team? They looked so bad so early on. But their offense is starting to click. Their defense is getting better. Um, this, is, I believe, will be the sixth seed in the AFC. Um, ben Roethlisberger is really stepping up. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Steelers, but they are doing very well right now. Uh, for Cleveland, another AFC North team. Uh, Whedon, Brandon Whedon is so awful. You have to think that the, the, peop the Browns general management... Uh, now is just questioning why, oh why did the prior regime uh, draft this guy? Uh, just not good at all. He's older. Like it was a dumb draft pick, um, and it's really showing now. Uh, they they could have gotten the playoff race, but Brandon Whedon is really holding him back. On the other hand, Josh Gordon is amazing. Um, this guy is phenomenal. Uh, I think he's going to be up there within the next couple of years with the Des Bryants and the Calvin Johnsons of the league because he is that good. He is awesome to do what he does with a bad quarterback. is just amazing. Uh, for Chicago, uh, that defense and the injuries have to be a concern. Uh, they really could have grabbed a stronghold in the NFC North this week, and they didn't. Um, the NFC North looked awful this week, not picking up a win, and two of the teams played each other. So, obviously a bad week for the NFC North, but the Bears could have made it better, and they just didn't. Uh, they really got blown out, and uh, you can tell the Bears are just kind of in a state of disarray after such a strong start to the season. Um I, just so many injuries uh, really killed the team. Uh, for St. Louis, uh, I, 
I just feel like every year they're, they're kind of a tease. They, they uh, have such high expectations going into the year. This is going to be the year. This is going to be the year. And it never is. But then about just past the midway point, they turn it around. They start beating some big teams. Um, and that that's a, just... They're just such a tease. They're they're good, but they just don't pile wins together. Um, so I, I don't really know what to think of them in the future years. Obviously, I don't believe they're a playoff team this year, but uh, they, they have talent, and so that's kind of what bugs me. Um, for Indianapolis, uh, Reggie Wayne injury is killing them. Um him being out for the year just really puts a lot of pressure on Andrew Luck to do well with some young receivers. Uh, puts pressure on Trent Richardson to do well, and and that's it's just really killing this offense. Um, and they have lots of problems right now, and and they will uh, they will make the playoffs. Uh, they really have a stronghold on the AFC South, but I just don't see them really making any wreaking any havoc in the playoffs I just don't think they're good enough um, and, and that that's a bummer in a year where you beat some of the top teams around uh, but there is time to turn it around and get back on the right track but right now they're in the wrong direction uh, Arizona uh, do I believe that the Arizona Cardinals are going to make the playoffs this year? You bet I do. Um, obviously, right now they're out of the playoff race, and they're going to have to be better than either Carolina or San Francisco, but they do have a game against San Francisco down the stretch, and I believe they will win that game um, and make the playoffs as a six seed. This is a talented squad. Uh, Carson Palmer has done great uh, in Arizona. Uh, they're coaching staff is phenomenal this this is really the second best squad in the nfc west more complete than the 49ers uh better more well-rounded uh so i do believe the cardinals will make the playoffs uh for the buccaneers mike glennon has to be considered for the offensive rookie of the year just having a phenomenal season uh really has stepped up his accuracy has stepped up his quarterback game week after week, after week, um, and I think he has a chance to be a really special player in the NFL. Uh, for Detroit, that was an awful loss. Like I said, with the Bears, uh, they had a chance to grab a stronghold on the NFC North, and they didn't, um, and that that's a problem. Um, I don't think Jim Schwartz is a good coach. They have a lot of talent, but this is going to they have to make a push some time down this line to really grab hold of uh, the NFC North and make the playoffs because they're not making it as a wild card. Uh, for Minnesota, AP, keep going, buddy. I know it's tough uh, being on a bad team, but, man, you are so good. Uh, and Ponder was not bad that game. I, I was impressed. Um, but, obviously, Minnesota is not a playoff squad this year, so... Uh, I do see a quarterback being drafted um, by the Vikings uh, really early on in the draft. Uh, for the Packers, Matt Flynn was not bad, but, man, you they are so bad without Aaron Rodgers. Uh, to tie Minnesota, this, this is a team that with Aaron Rodgers is probably one of the best teams in the NFC without him. Uh, they're not even able to beat the the Vikings. So it goes to show you how much Aaron Rodgers means to this team, and and I would consider him an MVP every year if it's if he means this much to the team. Um, for San Diego, win a close game, wow, that's unheard of. But that's what they did against a quality opponent. So just bugs me that they can't consistently be this good. Um, just. I was really impressed with their win over the Chiefs. Uh, obviously, some defensive concerns, but but you got to focus on the positives. Uh, for the Chiefs, Tomba Ali and Justin Houston need to be around this team. They need to be on the field for the Chiefs to win. You saw how bad they were in that second half defensively. Just they really need to have those guys, or they're they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, I do believe with those guys they can make some noise in the playoffs, but without them, that's they're in trouble. Uh, for the Panthers, 
Uh, Newton's play recently has been a little bit of a concern, but the win is all that matters. It didn't look pretty, but they got the win, um, and Carolina is still one of the best teams in the NFC. For Miami, Tannehill finally connected on the deep ball, and, and he doesn't have any time, so I can't say that his deep ball is all that bad, uh, but connecting with Mike Wallace, getting him involved, uh, really a good sign um, moving forward, and I do think they can compete in the playoff race, um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, for the Titans, that's a big win to stay in the race. Uh, obviously, they have the sixth seed as it stands now, um, and, and that's really impressive. Um, this team has a lot of talent, uh, but they really need to uh, make that push late in the season uh, down the stretch. Uh, Oakland, Matt McLuhan's good. Yeah, he is a very good quarterback, but I do believe that Pryor gets that win against Tennessee. I think he takes more risks. He's more explosive. Uh, he has bigger plays. And yeah, McLuhan's probably more efficient and more accurate, but I think he gave you a better chance. Pryor gave you a better chance to win that game. I think he's the he would have gotten that win, and and that may separate what separates Oakland from a, a pl being in the playoff race and being outside of it, which they are now. Um, for the Cowboys, Romo stepped up big. I, I don't think you can doubt this guy's ability, his clutchness. I'm not a huge fan of him as a person, but he is a good quarterback, and people should stop hating on his million dollar millions of dollars. Uh, in his contract because he is one of the top quarterbacks talent-wise in this league, and I don't believe uh, his clutch factor is really as bad as people make it out to be. Uh, the Giants, uh, they're out of it. Um, that was a win they needed to have, and they didn't get it. Um, so their season's over, I believe. Um, obviously not statistically eliminated, but I don't think they really have a shot uh, in to get into the playoffs and... Uh, that's really all that matters at the end of the season if it, you're in the playoffs. And uh, that 0-6 that start really killed them. Um, for Denver, uh, Manning playing in the cold has to be a concern, especially in the playoffs. Um, he just does not look as good. He made the throws when he had to, but he did not uh, make the throws as consistently as he does um when he's playing in warmer weather. So that has to be a concern. You have to find some way to deal with that. Um, but but Manning's good enough to figure out something. Um, but it, right now it, it looks worrisome. Uh, for New England, Brady's struggles are over. He played great against Denver. Uh, his receivers are playing a lot better. Gronkowski being back is a great help to him. Uh, so Brady is still among the elite uh, despite his early season struggles. Uh, San Francisco, it was hard to judge that win. I don't know if it was Washington being bad or San Francisco being good, um, so I'm not sure what to think, but we're definitely going to find out what San Francisco is made of down the stretch here and see if they can clinch that number six spot uh, in the NFC um, or the fifth spot, one of those wild card spots, but I think Carolina is the better team than them at this point, um, but they do have to battle Arizona for that sixth spot. Uh, wouldn't they like to be in the AFC right now? Um, for Washington, Mike Shanahan has to go. He really does. Uh, his decisions last year to play RG3, I think, has killed the team. This year, uh, I think after RG3's knee injury, you just got to sit him for the rest of that season of last year, and he would be better this year. I just think his decision has really put this franchise in a huge hole, and uh and I think you have to fire him for that. Um, so Mike Shanahan, go home, you're drunk. Uh, but really, that's that's what it comes down to. He makes some really dumb decisions. I mean, last year, he sent RG3 out as a wide receiver. He, some of the things that goes through his, his brain, I don't know what he's thinking. Um, so I would fire him. Uh, that's it for what we learned in NFL Week 12. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, check out the blog. We like to post fun polls. Uh, and check back in a few moments to get Week 13 picks. And Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.